hey lovely ice houses it's tara so as you can see i'm back in my bedroom um i know i'm looking at the screen and not the lens i know it's kind of annoying so i'm really sorry about that oh by the way there's my primitive man poster right there hang on let me zoom that in you guys can see um so as promised probably about about three weeks ago or something like that um i would be doing well a compilation of like the funniest and cutest um, moments from the 40 Years Live tour and just some of my uh, favourite things that kind of made myself and the rest of the crowd laugh and smile and all that kind of stuff. Yep, so I've picked um, 10 of uh, those moments. So this is pretty much going to be a top 10 ranked from 10 to 1. So, kind of get the idea. Um, so I hope that you enjoy these little funny, funniest and cutest moments. And, and yeah, let's start the countdown. Starting with number 10. Ah, Ivor Davies and Paul Gilday. So back in 2015, I called them the dynamic duo because of their talents and their, of course, their humour and personality. And they're both best known to have a lot of funny banters on stage. Even Mr. Gilday expressed his excitement in a very funny way. <laughs> what? I'm excited. <laughs> <laughs> You're always excited about ladies, boy. Paul, we're just as excited as you are, especially when we see you guys live. Ah, so number nine is a pretty interesting moment. So it was Saturday night, um, the 24th of June, and something very unexpected um, happened at this particular gig. Uh, so Ivor and the lads played a cover of David Bowie's Gene Genie, and he later told the crowd that it was totally unplanned, so that made it even better. Even the legend himself told everyone that he didn't even know the words to the third verse. <laughs> Well, Ivy, you absolutely rocked it, and it was a treat for everyone there. Woo! Number eight is Oh So Great. At almost every single Ice House gig, they always do a cover of T-Rex's Get It On. So going right back to January, when they displayed pictures of the band from those very early days. This was also the time when lead guitarist Paul Gilday broke his wrist from a fall, but a lot of fun was had by the gents. Especially when Ivor was tormenting him about it. Oh, Paul, we all felt so bad for you, but we're so glad your wrist has recovered. Time for a bit of fun for number seven. We Can Get Together is always a fun number at Ice House gigs, and it's always great to dance to. Even lovely Ivan made up his own little dance to the second line of the second verse. Warning, this is going to be the most adorable thing you will ever see. I told you how cute it is, didn't I? Let's call it the Ivor, shall we? So here we go to number six. You can buckle my shoes and you can pick up my sticks. Going right back to get it on. Here, the lead singer makes an adorable little mistake before the third verse. Good either. We all thought it was too cute. 
So here we are at number five and the vibe is still alive. Let's go back to We Can Get Together for a couple more funny moments. This time we're going right back to the 23rd of June when I was lucky enough to get front row seats. And in this one, lovely Ivor spots me in front of his mic and has a giggle. I must have done something funny that made him giggle, but it was very cute and funny, and therefore it's number five. Now we're up to number four, and I know you guys want plenty more. This will be the last moment regarding We Can Get Together, I promise. So this time it was on the 13th of January, and I guess 13 must be one of my lucky numbers, because my favorite singer of all time was being very cheeky and poked his tongue at me when he saw me. Gosh, our Ivor's very cheeky, but we all love him, and therefore this is number four. Are we seriously up to number three? Well, you've got to be crazy, baby. It's always great to see the guys play Fat Man, which is one of my favourite flower songs, as well as the hauntingly beautiful title track. Of course, I was right at the front of the stage, and it's the best thing ever. But the one moment that topped off the night was when Ivor spotted me at the front and gave me a very cheeky smile. Oh, Ivy, you always make me smile and giggle. That really made my night. And therefore, it's number three. Well, now we're up to number two, and it's all over you, Electric Blue. To be in the second row on the 24th of June was pretty awesome, and the view was incredible. What really made it even better was when they played No Promises, Ivan knelt down right in front of me since there was no one sitting in front of my seats, literally. Then smiled at me after seeing the first line of the song. What a beautiful song and a beautiful moment. And that's why it's number two in my top 10 cutest and funniest moments. And now, the moment we've all been waiting for. Taking the top spot of my top 10 funniest and cutest moments is... The cutest moment ever. And I couldn't resist popping it up on Instagram. My lovely mother and I were right up the front and we were in for a great night and then when Ivor walked to my side of the stage he looked at me and then sang the rest of the second verse of Hey Little Girl to me. That quite clearly made it a magical night never to forget and therefore it's right at the top in my cutest and funniest moments. Here are the honourable mentions um, which I didn't post in this video because um, other people uh, recorded them and I don't want to re-upload them onto my channel. So the links are down below for those videos um, so be sure to check them out. Okay so that's pretty much it. So I hope that you enjoyed um, this sort of top 10 um, funniest and cutest moments from the 40 years live tour and uh, let me know in the comments down below uh, which one your favorite is and as always if you enjoyed this video then make sure you give it a huge thumbs up and make sure you hit that subscribe button down below for more videos of Ice House and things like that from myself and yeah all things cool bananas and I shall see you in the next video